How do you apply cell shading for your animations? Well, in this tutorial, I will show you the four basic rules for cell shading and the five steps to do cell shading in Photoshop. Hi, this is Mark Diaz for 2DAnimation101.com and in this short video, I will show you how to improve your images using Photoshop and Crazy Talk Animator. Let's start by learning the rules. There are four basic rules for cell shading for when you're starting on cell shading. Rule number one, draw inside the image. In Photoshop, this is very easy to do. Just create a clipping mask layer and you can draw without worrying about spilling outside the image. I will show you how to do this in a minute. Rule number two, draw softly. For this, you need to set up your brush with low hardness and low flow. Rule number three, explore brushes. There are many brushes that give you different textures for your images, so you should explore them all one by one. Rule number four, use images for texture. For this, you need to use your images in black and white by lowering the saturation to zero and then using blending modes such as multiply, overlay, screen, or the ones that make the texture look great. Very good, now that you know the four basic rules, let's learn how to apply cell shading to one of the characters of Crazy Talk Animator. As we learned in the previous tutorial, you just select it, open it in composer mode, and then launch Photoshop. Now, let's learn the five steps to apply cell shading in Photoshop. First, select the layer you want to add shadows and highlights to in Photoshop. Then, create a new layer on top of it. Then, make it a clipping mask by right-clicking on the layer in the Layers panel and selecting Clipping Mask from the menu. And then, set up your brush tool to draw very softly with low hardness and also set it with very low flow. Around 5% is good. Then draw very softly on the clipping mask. For this, use a darker color for the shadow or use a lighter color for the highlights. That's it. Then you repeat that process for all the layers of your character. And then you have a fully shaded character. Now you know the basics for cell shading and you also know how to do it in Photoshop and Crazy Talk Animator 3 Pipeline. Thanks for watching. Now, if you want to learn more, you can get our new course, Cell Shading for Animation, for free, completely free, when you buy Crazy Talk Animator 3.2, the pipeline version. You can buy it here, 2d101.com slash CTA32. The link is provided in the description of this video. Go to that link, get it, and start improving the look of your animations right now.